Hi friends, this is Reverend Myra and I am here with Mike Shields uh, from the Hope Board and we're here to invite you um, to a couple of wonderful ways to support our mission and our outreach in Haiti, Hope. And so on this weekend, uh, one of the ways that you'll be able to do that is we are having a special liturgy on Sunday at the 9.30 Mass uh, at Hochstein um, where we will celebrate uh, the work that's happening in Haiti will celebrate the legacy of Rosemary Trichy and the amazing uh, work that she has done there. Um, and that'll be at our 9.30 Mass. And so you'll get a chance to um, listen to um, Jim Myers and Paul Sanderson, who will be preaching for us uh, at the liturgies. It's very, very exciting to get an update on Haiti. Um, but I'm here with Mike Shields, and um, Mike's got an update uh, maybe can share with us kind of where Haiti is right now and uh, you know what we need to be thinking about as we prepare to offer our support uh, for this ministry on this weekend and then it's fundraiser which I'll tell you about in a few minutes. Thanks Reverend Myra um, and thanks for having us you know I've been with Hope and Spiritus over since 2004. Two things I want to reinforce the value of the partnership that we have had with Spiritus Christi since you founded this, what was an outreach at that time, and the ongoing support that you've given. And then bring you into the current situation there um, where we've lost, you know, our executive director in Rosemary, and we have, um, all of us who have been committed to this work have rallied around that to, to find a different way to um, go forward with this partnership and honor the commitments that we've made to the people in Bourne. And then some recent disruptions that we've had with the government's change the currency valuation, the rate at which we translate U.S. dollars into Haitian good, the local currency. Mm -hmm. And it has effectively cut the salaries of all of the staff by what they realize for spending power by 50%. So that's the big challenge that we're facing now. Our job, you know, in partnership is to try to keep our staff of about 70 people um, healthy and whole so that they can keep the rest of the community healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the what we're wrestling with right now. So I think I'll leave it at that and leave it to Jim um, to tell the rest of the story. I think you're going to hear from um, Patrick, uh, key community outreach leader there, and from Doc Tony um, as well in uh, little video snippets. So looking forward to the rest of the weekend. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Mike. Which means that it's more important than ever to um, support the fundraising efforts. And this year, we have an exciting um, new fundraiser. We're going to be doing cooking with Silstein's Pierre Felipe and Nika uh, Chirichi. Uh, Wilder, Rosemary Trichy's daughter, um, and that fundraiser, instead of having our pancake breakfast, which we've had um, yearly, we're going to be doing this on November 14th, Saturday, November 14th, uh, at 4 o'clock here at Spiritus via live stream. So we hope you log in so that you can join us for our special fundraiser. You can learn how to cook uh, Haitian rice and beans uh, just in time for Thanksgiving and Christmas, that you can have a, introduce a special new dish and uh, and have some fun with the cooking demonstration that Silsines and Nika will give for us. And you'll have a chance to hear testimonials from folks um, from Haiti and from uh, Rochester whose lives have been touched by this work um, that we've done in partnering with our friends in Haiti. And, um, and it's very exciting. And we get to really support this ministry that needs us more than ever. So I hope that you will join us uh, again this weekend, November 8th. At our 9.30 Mass, we'll have a special collection for Haiti. And then on Saturday, November 14th at 4 o'clock, join us live stream, Cooking with Sosteens and Nika. Hope to see you there. Thanks. Take care. Hello, friends. This is Reverend Myra for Weekly Pastors Update. You will notice in the bulletin this week that we are sharing our tithing list so one of the things that I absolutely love about Spiritus Christi is your amazing generosity. You know, we donate 15% of our collections away to other ministries that are doing great work. And you, during the month of February and March, 
submit lots of organizations that you are um, proud of and that you support in terms of the work that they're doing. You submit those to a tithing committee and they make sure that those ministries are still active and then they create a list and then we donate 15% of our collection and split them between those ministries. And this year, um, we have chosen, the tithing committee has chosen 69 ministries uh, to donate to and to share um, your generous giving with. And so each year, we get so many letters from these organizations, and you know, and, and it just means so much to know that you are supporting them and that you are encouraging them and that you're coming alongside of them uh, through financial support in doing that work. So thank you so much, Spiritus Christi. And you'll see a partial list this week um, in our bulletin. And then you'll see the other uh, half of the list uh, next week. So thank you so much. Also, it is still uh, time. You still have time if you'd like to, to participate in our Adoptive Families program. And we have 75 families on our list for Christmas and 75 families on our list for Thanksgiving. And so you can send in a food gift card to support um, a family and allow them to purchase a meal uh, for Thanksgiving for their families. Or you can uh, adopt a family uh, for Christmas and you can purchase gifts for small children uh, ages really birth to 17 years old um, for families that are really struggling for the holidays. And so you've just done such an amazing job again every year. Um, you know, you support these families within our broader community um, and making sure that they know that they are not alone. They can gather with their families around a meal at Thanksgiving and they can wake up on Christmas morning and be able to provide for their children. So thank you again for partnering with them. I send my heart and my deepest sympathy and condolences to Maureen and Ken and Michael Preston on the death of Maureen and Ken's son, Keith, and Michael's twin brother who died recently this week. We want you to know that our hearts are going out to you and that we're thinking of you and we're holding you really close. We can't imagine the grief that you are feeling. Um, and so please know that we're sending our heart to you. I am also going to be leaving on this coming Thursday. Uh, I'll be traveling to Cancun, Mexico. I'll be marrying a couple here from the parish and returning on Monday. So please keep me in your prayers and know that I'll be thinking of you as I stroll along the beach, along those blue waters. I love you and thinking of you, make sure that you stay safe. You know, the flu season is upon us and the expected surge uh, for the flu and for the COVID virus. So please stay safe, social distance, keep your mask on, do lots of hand washing. And uh, I will see you again next week for our weekly pastor's update.